Good morning, YouTube guys, friends, followers, all that jazz. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick, um, quick little blast on my new sport touring machine. This is my sub $2,000 sport tour. Um, the unsung secret of the motorcycle industry, the Generation 1 Yamaha FZ1. I uh, picked this puppy up. This is a sub $2,000 buy. Uh, shout out to Jay, the guy I got it from. He did the carburetors on it. He did a bunch of work on this bike. Uh, very excited to see it back on the road, he said. Uh, he purchased this through a family with an unfortunate loss. The, 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 the previous owner, the guy that actually put a lot of miles on this bike, uh, passed away from cancer. And it sat in a barn for a very, very long time. So John brought it back to life, but he has an FZ1 as well. So uh, uh, sold it to me at a very good deal. I felt pretty fair. He felt pretty fair. Um, and uh, the bike runs great. So thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, John. So um, this bike is the secret of the motorcycle industry. I got to tell you, I've, I've owned a lot of motorcycles. So it's been 60, 70 something motorcycles I've owned. This bike in particular is the absolute best just because it just does everything very well uh, the heart of the motor right here is a 20 valve inline four cylinder a direct uh, motor right from the R1 they've redone the cams uh, it's a little less compression you can actually adjust compression and put the R1 compression in this bike by just swapping out to an R1 head gasket so the FZ1 gasket is a little thicker to kind of drop the compression, so they didn't have to do much for internals wise. Uh, the cam grind's a little different. That's what really kind of separates them. It is a carbureted machine. Some people will him and ha and buck at it. I'm going to tell you, I was kind of there. I wanted a fuel injected machine, but the thing is, this bike is so well designed. The frame is a steel tube frame, but it's really rigid. Uh, unlike the Bandit 1200, which I've owned, I put a lot of miles on. The FZ1 doesn't have that frame flex. It actually handles very much like a sport bike. Yeah, the you would think right side up forks. Eh, no, this front end is really tight, and the bike handles very well. So um, let's go for a little spin. I'm wearing my insulated clothes today. It is pretty, pretty brisk, 54 degrees. I'm going to turn the heated grips on. And away we go. This bike is um, incredibly quick. Uh, zero to 60 is uh, stock in uh, 2.7, 2.8 seconds. Uh, zero to 100 is less than five, or around that five range. Uh, quarter mile is a 10 second bike stock. Of course, this bike probably, with my fat butt on it, will not I'd be lucky to be in the 11s. I'm sure with some practice I could get up there. It handles very well, and that's the thing is this bike is very, very solid. Uh, you would think with a steel cradle frame, you get that traditional flex that you see in most standard motorcycles that have a steel frame. Not so much with this FZ1. They really did it good on this. And what happened was, this is basically the last great standard bike that uh, really, I think, hit the market. And this bike's got an incredible amount of roll on. It makes 70 foot pounds of torque, which is actually pretty high. If you compare it to my 2018 Triumph Bonneville T120, it makes almost as much torque, <laughs> but almost 50 more horsepower. Impressive, quite impressive. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful morning here in Vermont. Like I said, it's about 54 degrees. Having those heated grips are super, super nice this morning. Um, so, most folks are tuning into this channel. They know me. I'm the T120 guy that's putting ridiculous miles on my T120. And a lot of folks are going, what, what, what? So why did Jets get a FZ1? Um, why, why did he do that when he has that T120 to ride? And uh, I'm going to 
gonna tell you that uh, I'm hitting that 40,000 mile mark, and this is an FZ1 kind of day, so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but basically the T120 is really starting to uh, show its age um, at 40,000 miles, which is kind of sad, it's only a year old, but I'm having all sorts of random problematic issues with it. Um, you're really starting to realize that the build quality is not that of a Japanese motorcycle, so, um, that being said, I'm really realizing that, um, you know, I, I can't really rely on the bike. And uh, so I got this puppy here. I'm planning on a cross country trip. And uh, from all bikes of my past, the FZ1 has been the most reliable bike I've owned. Even the Bandit had its moments where it let me down or broke down or something happened. The FZ1, never let me down. So uh, I had about uh, 76,000 miles on my last one when I sold it. And um, it had an incredibly hard service life. Uh, I definitely was not hard on it, or definitely not easy on it. I mute molested the hell out of it. All the plastics were all shattered. Um, it was just in rip it, wicked rough shape. Uh, but uh, I was, and it was time to just do an overhaul on it, and I wasn't really willing to do that. The fairing, uh, I've got a stock windshield on this. I'm going to be getting a touring screen. Right now, all the wind is kind of hitting me right in the chest, uh, but it has offers great leg protection. I'm actually quite comfy on this thing. But the Gen 1 FZ1 is definitely the unsung hit hero of the standard motorcycles. Uh, probably the best UJM out there. I may be a little partial because it's, I own one, but. Um, it definitely is uh, a phenomenal bike. This guy, I think he's going to let me go around. And that's the thing, it doesn't matter. again. Just so nice. So Yamaha released this bike. There was a 600 variant first and it was called the Phaser. Uh, you might re hear me refer to it as a Phaser or Fizzy. Um, kind of what we FZ1 guys, FZ guys call them. And the uh, FZ Phaser 600 uh, came out and uh, there was uh, the FZR in the market of, uh, in America, uh, the United States for a while, but it was kind of like, you know, a run of a mill, uh, kind of like the Katana, but never really quite caught on like the Katana. The Katana was a more standard bike. The FZR was more of a, uh, you know, sport bike. So it wasn't as comfortable to ride. Yamaha wanted to fix this, and they saw the success of the Bandit and the ZRX. And Yamaha's like, how are we gonna compete with these guys? In fact, don't compete. Let's blow them out of the water. So the FZ1 was born. It came out in the year 2000 as the Phaser 1000S, which was a freaking, and it, when it came out, it was beyond its time. R1 brakes, R1 engine is worlds ahead of the Bandit 1200. And that was the whole point. They saw the Bandit 1200. It was a fast bike, zero to 60 was in the three second range. And it did a quarter mile in just under 11 seconds. It was 10.98 or something like that. So Yamaha was like, we need to do one better. So they took the R1, which was the super bike of the time, and really was the industry standard of what was a fast motorcycle. And they stuffed that engine in a standard bike, an upright machine, so people could tour, cruise. You know, the beautiful thing about a big horsepower engine is that you don't use it all the time. So the motors will last longer, they're not as worn, they're not spinning as fast to make power. And uh, that was the thing about this FZ1. So they release it and it just destroys the competition. And the Gen 1 is really the last point where Yamaha took the FZ line and kind of shifted it towards the more sport end instead of the more standard end. So I mean, this is really like a super standard. They call them super standards. Uh, it was a little rivalry they had between Kawasaki, Band Suzuki, and Yamaha. And uh, Yamaha obviously had the better bike. But what ended up happening was in 2006, Yamaha was reinventing its image and they were all going towards fuel injected machines. Carburation was out. Suzuki was lagging behind the R&D. And 
so Yamaha went for the punch and they updated the, the FC1 with the Gen 2. Mono, uh, you know, twin spar aluminum frame, uh, you know, they went away with a steel cradle frame, inverted forks, which were absolutely horrible. Love their FZ1s, and I gotta tell you, a Gen 2 FZ1 is a great roadster. It's just a great bike to get on and blast and have fun and not kill yourself like on a sport bike. But you got a range there, about like 250, 300 miles, and you're done. This was probably the best bike, standard bike, because after the Gen, Gen 2s came around, they're really not standard motorcycles anymore. They're more of an amalgamation back to the FZR route of a sport kind of standard bike. So, um, you know, that's why I think the Gen 1 FZ1 is the best uh, uh, FZ1 that they, they ever made. Um, my personal opinion. Just because it's so comfortable. I'm just plush right now. I'm just cruising, you know, and then I can just hammer, get 100, and then just cruise around and just relax. This bike, I have to say, the Yamaha did a really good job selecting the Makuni carburetors on this on, the, on this bike. Uh, they're basically uh, sport bike carburetors tuned. Uh, the airbox is tuned perfectly for uh, the power. Uh, one of the, this, the cool thing about this bike is that you can actually add a slip on this bike and not have to adjust the jetting because the stock muffler flows so well. It's just a really heavy, awkward, bulky unit. And uh, it's whisper cry, quiet as you can hear. Will I put a slip on on? Who knows? Probably because I'm, I'm, you know, a 12 year old at heart. But right now, uh, it's kind of nice just having a nice morning cruise and not having the the bike be super loud and buzzy and annoying. And that's the thing: this motor is just a gem, dude. Oh, look at it, and it's so poised, so poised, and it has such a good turning radius. It's such a, oh, such an awesome bike. They really, this, it's just an over-engineered bike. So the motor's, you know, like the R1 derived engine. It's a six-speed transmission, uh, which was ahead of its time because both the ZRX and the Bandit 1250, or 1200, were five-speeds. This was a six-speed, but because it was a, an R1 engine, it was designed to be handle a lot of abuse. With a slight detune um, and drop in the rev range a little bit, you're gonna add a little longevity. I know folks that have about uh, anywhere from uh, 100 to 250,000 miles on their FZ1s. This motor is just bomb proof. Uh, I've read on the FZ01 forums that there's probably at least 15 people that have done valve checks on these things, and every single time, even from the factory, the valves are spot on. I will be doing a valve check on this because they're at 26,000 mile intervals, and, which is incredible, but you never have to really adjust them. So I'll do my check at 26,000 and if it's in spec, I will slap a valve cover gasket back on and I'll never open it up again. Uh, let's just do a little roll on here. It's just so smooth, so poised. It's just, they just really nailed it with this bike. Just nailed it, they nailed it. The average uh, fuel economy of a uh, Gen 1 FZ1 is around 40 to 45 miles an hour, or miles per gallon, I'm sorry. And that all depends on how, uh, you know, generous you are with the throttle. This bike really doesn't need a lot of thr full throttle to get it going and moving. But uh, some folks, <coughs> like myself, tend to, <laughs> to use a little more throttle. So, uh, wow. Thing. It's just uh, the brakes are so so good so good it's so nice to be on a proper motorcycle again not saying the t120 is not proper the other thing you got to worry about is when you hit that seven eight thousand mile mark in first gear if you're not delivering the power correctly because there's no traction control no abs just like a good bike should uh, it will wheelie uh, under full throttle. So just uh, keep that in mind. If you do get one of these and you're really starting to rip it, and if you're uh, uh, kind of a, a newer experienced rider with 1000cc bikes, uh, just be keep an eye out for that. Oh, hello turkey. Come here. Let's see if we can sneak up on these guys. Hi turkey. Hi. Hey buddy. How you doing? 
Don't mind me. Yet, subscribe on uh, Jed's Moto. Uh, you can go to www.jedsmoto.com. You can find my email link. I love li getting the emails. I've got a couple in emails in my inbox. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't responded yet. I got married last week, so I've been exceptionally busy. But uh, I'm finally getting back to uh, Jed's mode. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you guys, I promise. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, like it below. Uh, I love hearing the conversations. I love having the conversations. And uh, thanks for tuning in on this. Like I said, the FZ1, freaking top-notch motorcycle, top-notch bike, great value. It's